I gave Mass Effect Andromeda a ton of chances because it was a game that I wanted to see be great because I'm a huge fan of the series, but also because like when a game is getting bashed and memed so much on the internet, I almost kind of look at it as the underdog and I want to find the good in it. But ultimately, uh, Andromeda, I spent so much time with it and I kept going back to it. I, I got it like a week early, so I've spent a lot of time with it. And ultimately, I've decided it took me a while but I pretty much don't like it. I don't think it's the complete dumpster fire that people are making it out to be. There are some redeeming qualities, and I think some fans of the series can still dig it, but for me, it just really didn't jive. Something didn't click. I, I don't know what it is. Some people are saying maybe it's the characters, but I didn't quite hate the characters. Maybe it's the story, the adventure that you go on. That might be it. Maybe it's the fact that I just really never really clicked with the main character, the Ryder twins, just didn't really like them. Uh, but for me, I think what I did like, let me just start with what I like. In Mass Effect Andromeda, I did really like the combat, and I've gotten a lot of shit for that. I like the combat a lot. I like the added mobility. I like the action. The shooting feels tighter and like crunchier and like it just feels more aggressive and raw and, and the sound design really helps with that. But with Andromeda, it's like every time there's a good thing, there's also a bad thing. I really miss having a ton of control over my different squad mates. Not only just like giving them different outfits and weapons and stuff, but in the battlefield, choosing what abilities they're going to use and working with that and combining your abilities. Now, you have none of that and that's totally lost and that's a damn shame. So while I do actually like the moment to moment combat and uh, the actual action because it's, it's intense and it feels like a more fast paced action game with RPG elements, I think that's where the actual problem lies with Mass Effect Andromeda because unlike the previous Mass Effect games where you get in a combat scenario, this is just me personally, but I would get in a combat scenario and I would be like, oh, okay, got to get through this fight. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait to get through this fight so I can talk to someone. Now it's the complete opposite. In, in Mass Effect Andromeda, it, I can't wait to finish talking to this stupid person to get to the awesome action fights. That, I think, to me, is like a summation of how I feel about the game in its entirety because it is a total, total drag because Mass Effect, for me, was always about exploring space but talking to people, meeting people, loving these characters, getting wrapped up in seedy things, going on adventures, and then learning people's individual stories. And Andromeda just, I didn't, it didn't work with me at all. I'm really trying to figure out what was lost here because the setup, I really like. I think the setup is promising. The Andromeda Initiative, it's basically like like colonists going to the new world. They just hopped on a giant ship to go and cryo sleep for a very long time in search of a new world, in search of a new life. And I think there's a lot that can be said with a lot of those characters. And they touch upon it here and there, but it's never really the big theme. Same with just the sense of adventure, the whole, it's not about fighting a war or saving the earth. You're, you're, you're more lighthearted. Your adventure is more lighthearted in tone and everybody's just in it for the thrill of adventure and, and discovery. But then that even kind of quickly dissolves into just a regular old bad guy villain science fiction adventure. And that for me was a super bummer. While I did kind of like the villain and I, I like the cat and stuff, there just wasn't enough, um, I guess, I guess there just wasn't enough Mass Effect there. There's a lot of things that just don't hit because you're dealing with the same races. You only really meet two new races and they're not really that different. They carry guns, they wear armor, they have cities just like everybody else. But you never really get into some of that seedy stuff. You never get into a real good bar fight. They're all just shitty outposts on lame planets. And I think maybe that's where things were lost because it went to a more open world design, which is another thing I didn't mind because I love driving the Nomad around. I think that's really fun. But it's just these giant empty worlds that are just filled with more side quests and more specifically those tasks that I just never really cared about doing. And you probably notice I haven't acknowledged the technical side yet because I, I think that is an absolute complete disaster, but to me, and you might not want to hear this, but sometimes I can look past that stuff. And honestly, my problems with Mass Effect Andromeda are way bigger than just a bad frame rate and some glitchy faces or a quest bug, which are unforgivable. But I think the most unforgivable thing about Mass Effect Andromeda is that it just lost that spark. It lost that charm. It lost that weird, quirky, special thing that made us care about the original trilogy, despite some of its faults. With Andromeda, I feel like there are faults, but there's just not enough redeeming qualities. There's not enough out there that's worth it for you to keep going, you know? I do commend a nice, meaty, lengthy RPG game filled with side quests and worlds to explore totally down, but here, I just got bored, and honestly, I fired up my computer and I downloaded Mass Effect 2. I don't think that's what Andromeda set out to do, but that's what it accomplished with me. With Andromeda, I keep saying, I think it just comes down to mixed potential, because there's a lot of things there I like. Mass Effect Andromeda on paper sounds 
fucking awesome, but just something is missed. Like I said, it's a little bit the characters. Some loyalty missions I liked, some loyalty missions I completely groaned at. Who knows though, maybe over time, maybe after looking back at the game a year from now, maybe I'll look back on this adventure fondly. I don't know, maybe. Right now, I don't. I do think there is a potential for Mass Effect Andromeda 2, if that's a thing, uh, to be really awesome and just kind of blow it out in the water, really fix the problems we have with this one, and capitalize on the characters that we're starting to get to know and really convince us to love them. That's very hard to do if we don't like them from the outset, like me personally, but I don't hate them, and I think with some good writing, they could fix things. And now some people don't want to hear that either. The fact that I'm saying, oh man, Mass Effect Andromeda 2 could be better. That's no excuse for this one being bad, of course, but honestly, that's it. I didn't like it at all. I don't want to play it anymore. I want to play Mass Effect 2. So now I'm looking forward to the future. That's why I have this channel to talk about how like a game made me feel, you know, like a before you buy, I could break down the systems, how I feel about the gameplay, how the leveling up systems work and, and how crafting works. And I still have a lot more to say about that. But what really bothers me the most about Mass Effect Andromeda and makes me say the most is how I feel about it. And I just don't feel that good. But I know some people out there have found some more redeeming qualities with it. So if you're into Mass Effect Andromeda, I do want to hear from you. And obviously, if you don't like it, I probably know what you have to say, but I still want to hear from you. Because some people out there still think I'm being too easy on the game. I, I don't think so. I think I'm actually being kind of hard on the game. But I'm still definitely looking forward to the discussion with you guys. I'll be down there. You guys know the deal, though. Thanks for coming around and watching me ramble about video games. I'm Jake Baldino, and you can subscribe because video games.